we put in a lot of time and effort on making our homes livable spaces which reflect who we are. But what about our final resting places? Razor TV shows you a grave that does just that. With Halloween just round the corner, we're going to set you in the mood and bring you through some secluded areas such as this to show you the most unusual and beautiful graves here in Singapore. Today basically we're on a quest mm. to find Singapore's most unusual and beautiful graves. So tell us, what can we expect? Okay, now actually, you know where we are standing now, right? We are standing on top of a hill. This hill is called Sam Leong Hill. There's a reason why it's called Sam Leong Hill, because of the biggest grave found here, which is called with his own Sam Leong. And you can see his grave here, here and his wife's graves. Mm. So I believe the size of this grave is about, uh, they say it's about 10 small HDB flats. It's, wow, that's really big. <laughs> that's bigger than a football field, yeah, almost. Uh, yeah, almost like a football but field. But it doesn't seem that big or it extends yeah. further beyond it, just it the area. further yeah. and below that actually, actually it's two sun graves. Right. It's two gummy, one of them is Peng Hock and the other one is Bun Tan. Ong Sam Leong was a prominent businessman in the 19th century in the mining and construction industry. He passed away in 1918 from heart failure. His two sons, Bun Tan and Peng Hock, were co-owners of the New World Team Park. The Sam Leong Road in Little India is named after him. Mr. Ong's grave is located in the Bukit Brown Cemetery of Lawney Road and several statues are erected around it. The grave features statues from the usual fairy and lion statues which are said to have mythic protective powers to something less common, two two-meter tall stone seat guards. Sometimes we have the silk soldiers as standing guard because in, in the past, the first police force by the British was actually consists of the silk soldiers. Right. So the silk soldiers look very fierce with the turban and the moustache, isn't it? Yeah. Very fierce looking, so they think that they are very good guards for the cemetery. Besides statues, stone mirrors also line the grave and the detail and intricacy of the work signifies the 24 filial exemplars. Stories which depict how children exercise their filial piety in the past. Oh no, the wall there are mirrors. Oh yes, I didn't notice that. Just yeah. Now, so these are actually the stories of the 24 fulfilled party stories. There, you can see the story here. You can see one lady right offering her breast to be sucked by an old woman. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, because the old woman has no tea, you know, he cannot bite. So he offered the milk. Instead of feeding the, the child, she offered a milk to the mother-in-law. And also, there's some feng shui principle behind. You, you see, the, there's a very big, a semi-circular. Uh, yeah, uh, it's like an arc. Yeah. arc. Yeah, actually, last time there was a running water. Uh, so this water was for feng shui reasons. For feng shui reasons, it can be reflected by the poems here. Because we always believe that uh, in front of the... If you, have a, you see the water and the water is surrounding you, it means usually yeah. wealth. The grave also features Peranakan tiles popular in households during that era, reflecting Sam Leong's Peranakan background. From the sheer size and grandeur of the grave, to the intricate details, Sam Leon's grave certainly stands out among the other graves in the Bukit Brown Cemetery. We head to the Japanese Cemetery Park in the next clip to show you more unusual graves there, including a tombstone stained in blood. <laughs> <laughs> 